I'm going to do the coolant flush and put on some new uh, coolant in this 2021 Seaforce 400. Yesterday I did it in that 2023 Seaforce 500 and it went pretty well. So the thing is that we're going to need to do... So all these clips, we're just going to pull them out up and around and stuff and just pull that out and then also we can remove this if we need to but there is one nut here this one let's see the two there's three in there but it's actually this one here um we're just going to um loosen that let water drain out of there that's the, the water pump One of the things that you have to do to get ready for this, this front cover needs to come off. It's going to reach under. This pops out, and then there's things to pop up there. There. Just remove that, set that off to the side. And then there is your radiator cap. It's cool, you don't open that when it's warm. So, and it's got coolant in there, so we're gonna change all that out. All right, one method that I can use to get these off. Let's use a screwdriver, get it out of there. Just kind of twist out the top a little bit to loosen it up. These are kind of cumbersome, so it's kind of out like that. And then, let's use a needle nose. Put it in there. And pop it up. And that'll just come out too. Like so. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're just removing one panel. These can stay. I just pulled off that one panel that just fits right there. So you can see you can access your hose. I'm gonna take a clamp, um, I'm gonna wrench, a Chris wrench, and pop that off. Okay, I cracked that nut loose. You can kind of see it is dripping right now, but I used um, a 5 16 wrench, which will work on the eight millimeter too if you can't get an eight millimeter in there and stuff, so just uh, pulled out these four bolts that we can kind of just pull it out a little bit, but that's nothing, they just go right in, that's, you don't really remove anything. I'm going to remove the lower hose there, I'm just using this vice grip actually, it comes in handy. twist this off and let it drain out into a bucket. Alright, we cracked it loosely here. Just need to focus. Alright. So, make sure that's empty. Which it is. Earlier, I pulled this off that bolt and it drained out of there. So, but if you want to have a little easier time, because it did kind of come gushing out of there, um, just to pull that off actually first and let most of it drain out of there into a bucket, and then, not like I did, then take that one off. And as we can see, the radiator's empty. So we can just put everything back on the hoses, nice and tight like that, pretty simple. Here, make sure it's in the same grooves as before. 
four and let her go. So that's back on. Okay, I'm just putting back on this bolt here. I misplaced the <laughs> copper washer, which is what you want, so I put in a rubber one. And you do want to make sure you just tighten it or get it threaded by hand. Don't use any power tools to thread it or it could strip out the aluminum block. Okay, the coolant I'm going to put in there is stuff I got from um, MSC, um, Main Street Cycle uh, down south. So you're going to put in about half of this bottle. And then I'm going to put in this cool down additive. the rest of this it will take a little bit more than one bottle so I've got some just other car 50-50 diluted antifreeze to put in afterwards Thank you. 